Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to install the Kilonix server. In this specific video we are going to see how to install the version 1220 with a firmware version for the P-Series 2519. This guide works for both on-premise and on the cloud VPS server. First of all, download PuTTY, install into your computer to access the server. To access the server, type your username followed by at and the IP address of the server and then press open. Now the prompt will require for the password. Type it in and press enter. Okay, now we are logging in our server. Remember, to make the Kilolink works, we need to have port forwarding done in our firewall, especially if we are working for on-premise server. For certain provider in the VPS cloud, you might not need to use the port forwarding or add the ports manually, but for stuff like AVS and Google Cloud, you might have to do it manually. Let's move forward. Let's clear the screen first, so type clear. If you don't have installed Docker, you might have to run this command. I put the link in the video description. To check if Docker is installed, you might just type Docker version. If you get from something like this, it means that Docker is installed, so we can move forward. If you have installed Kilolink before, you might see it by typing the command docker ps. As you can see, I've already installed the Kilolink server here, but we're gonna delete this and start from a clean installation. To clean install your Docker's containers, you have to run these three commands I leave in the video description. You have also to delete the data folder that had been created in the latest installation of Kilolink server. So navigate to the home folder by typing cd dot dot. Type ls and you will see a data folder is present. In order to remove it, just type rm slash rf data and press enter. If you type ls again, you will see no data folder is here. In the video description, you will find a download link to a customized script in order to install that correct version of the Kilolink server. Right click on the link and press download. In order to move the script into your VPS or your on-premise machine, you might use something like FireZilla or other FTP cloud service. Or you can just copy and paste using the nano prompt editor. In this specific case, I'm going to use WinSCP in order to connect to my server and copy the file into it. So type the IP of the server, the username and the password and press enter. Once you have been logging into the server, just drag and drop the custom script into the root folder. Okay, if we now type ls, we will find the custom script is here. In order to have root privileges on this file, just type chmod plus x followed by the name of the file and press enter. Now, if we type ls again, we will see it turns green. In order to start the installation, just type dot forward slash and the name of the file and press enter. Now we can follow the automatic script by typing the number request on the prompt. So for a first installation, press 1 and press enter. Here you choose depending on the network mode if it is an host or a bridge, in my case host. Press enter. At this point, the automatic script will detect your public IP address. If you want to go manually, you can type it by your own. At this point, press Y and continue. 
Now the automatic script will make the procedure for you and the docker will be installed. Okay, now to currently see if we have done everything right, just type docker ps and see if the container is running. All right, as you can see, the container is running, so we can check it out in our browser. In order to access the Killing server, you just type your IP address or your domain followed by the column and the port 82. First, username and password will be admin and admin. At this point, I'm gonna connect my P-Series device and see if everything is working. Now I've connected my device. In order to start a stream, just press here wherever it's white, click Add Streaming Service. In this case, we're gonna use SRT and press Enter. As you can see now from the little windows on top, this is the SRT coming from the Killlink server. If we go into the link status, we are gonna see the aggregation of the networks. And you can see all the three networks are working. If I stop this, you will see it gonna stop on the top. And if I go on again, it will restart the stream. Remember, this specific version of Kilonink works perfectly fine with the 4.7.2519 of the firmware encoder. Hope you liked this video and see you in the next one.